Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Modded Super Flat. I hope everybody is having a great day today. I'm doing fantastic. I do have some bad news regarding this series. No, we're not ending the series. Just watch the video. I'm going to tell you in just a second. Let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot to cover. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get right into the bad news. I recorded a 35 minute video and it is not usable. I am super mad because we got so much done. So what happened was, is I did my typical recording, but somehow the audio interface, basically your microphone, if it's XLR, it plugs into something and that plugs into your computer, which is an audio interface. So my audio interface became unpowered and I didn't notice it. So rather than using my default audio source, which is my microphone. It used my camera's microphone, which is garbage. I mean, it's bad. So we lost basically a whole episode of recording. So I'm recording another episode to make up for that. So <laughs> the bad part about that is, is that we got so much done. Like I was doing good, man. We moved bases. We actually made like a new base and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and cover everything that we have. This is our new base. Get a, get a good look at it. It's, a, it's like a circle with a purple uh, ring around it. The blue stuff that you see is solar panels. These are tier three solar panels. Um, I think they do like 64 per tick. All right, let's go down. This is um, Z-Tones glass, really like that. You're gonna notice all kinds of AE stuff already up and running. We have an EMC table now. Now, uh, this was the very last thing we made in the last episode. And I don't really have a lot in here just yet, just like two pages. So um, once we had EMC started generating, we actually decided to get into AE really quickly. Um, one good thing about these, these guys right here, these 64K crafting storages, you can uncraft these. That gives me a 64K storage component, which means I can make a 64K storage drive. So that's what I did. And all of our storage is now 64K. All of the crafting storage is 64K. And uh, so now we have auto crafting. Um, if I were to go here, we have some alloy smelter stuff. And we have a lot of basic crafting stuff. Uh, then we have the pattern terminal. So this is the upstairs. Let's go downstairs. The downstairs, I have started improving machines. These are the first two machines that I have put into the system. This one is holding all the alloys. This one will run any dust that we need. And then this just puts it back into the system. Um, and as you can see, we have all of our cable. We have dense cable. One very, very good thing about the Walla in this pack is that it tells you how many channels you actually have left. So if you look at dense cable on the, on the Walla on the side there, it says five of 32. That is fantastic. I love that. And then next up, we made this machine here, but we're going to redo this machine. This is our EMC machine. And essentially what it's doing is it's taking everything that's in the chest and filling these up and clicking into here to give us EMC value. But I'm going to make this a little bit better today. So that's the first thing that we're going to work on. But still, we got all this done and I can't show you it because the footage is corrupted. Frustration, I know, but it's all good. So, um... Let's go ahead. I'm going to get some, some supplies together for that machine, and then we're going to work on it some. All right, so I want to make an EMC machine using loot bags. Now, this is very tricky to do because, for one, these loot bags don't have um, any sort of usage metadata. What's that mean? At the end of the 8050 there, at the numbers... There's no other metadata like one zero for opened or non opened. So we have to do this very carefully. Um, we can get a lot of EMC from this if we do this right, though. So here's what I'm thinking we'll, we're going to do. Because initially I was uh, going to set this up to where I had to watch this. But um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just allow um, the bags to only go into like one spot. <laughs> of the uh of the autonomous activator so let's grab one of these and so for example what we will do here i'll turn this off for now grab some cable and um extract so that's going to once i turn this on it's going to fill all that up and we want to use first slot only sneaking 
There we go. So that should put that in there. No? Something wrong here? Do I have the wrong conduit? Item conduit. Oh, you know what? I bet, uh... Which one is it? Blue would be input. There we go. All right, so what this is going to do is this is going to test whether or not this item in the bag has an EMC or not in it. So it's going to, like, run. It's going to click it. And then what we need to do is so two things are going to happen. The first thing that's going to happen is either, either it's going to have EMC and the bag is going to disappear or a new bag will come in. The second thing that's going to happen is if it doesn't have EMC, we need to remove that bag. So that is what I'm going to work on now. So I'm going to take you, you. Um, I've got a couple different things here that I can use to help me and you. So we're going to have to set up a clock that will uh, continuously pull out. Put that on there. And then let's put a filter on this. And we want to blacklist uh, dirt. So we'll only pull out anything besides dirt. So uh, to test this, we can just uh, put a chest down real fast. That there. Inserts. And then that should start... Um, It'll start basically just filtering those through is what we needed to do. Okay. One thing I want to do is I'm going to put these back in here. I, let me grab a pickaxe. I want to, um, I want to give a little bit more space here. <laughs> there we go. We need a little bit more room. So this will be sort of a buffer for what we're doing. Insert export so this is the redstone that we need to control now i brought a couple different redstone clocks with me that i want to test out we're going to try this redstone clock and then we can make a hopper clock if we need to hmm i don't know i don't know if i like that or not because oh you know what i probably need to make i probably need to make um uh, oh, you know what we should do? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to pattern stone. Do I have any stone? Uh, I have two pieces. Okay, there we go. Pattern, you. And then, so that means we'll be able to make stone with that. So let's go ahead and get some stone. We're just going to, we're going to make one of these, uh, one of these pulsing redstone clocks, I think. How fast is that going to go? That shouldn't take too long. That that machine down there is pretty quick. Okay, so now that we've got that, um, I think it's called a timer. This guy. And all right. So I went ahead and made a timer. That thing was not easy to make. Holy crap. I had to have the plates and then all of the components for it. I'm not even sure that I even want to use it. So what I was thinking was is we could have this click um on a certain time um maybe like every three seconds or something so that would give that plenty of time to road th rotate through those um another way we could do this is we could do it with a hopper clock uh i got everything for that and the hopper clock would just be like this and then that and then we could put like three pieces in there or something like that mm -mm. I thought that was supposed to click maybe not okay so uh, I think what we'll do is we'll use the timer and we'll give this a shot and just see how it works because I mean there isn't really much else we can do um let's see i'll put the timer right here let's try 
So to clear it, let's try four seconds. Clear it, it'll be emptying, 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 clear it, emptying. Okay, so I think that's gonna be enough. Uh, there's already a bag in there. And... Hmm. You know what I was thinking? The one problem that we might have is that we need, we might need, uh, this will need to be put over here instead. Not right there. We need to put it right here. So let's go like right here. Let's do, yeah, we'll do five seconds and then you, you, and energy condenser. And then we'll put uh, that right there. And we'll just make dark matter. You. And uh, we'll need to give that power. This is a temporary setup, by the way, just to get EMC made. Eventually, I'd like to make like a farm or something. Okay. There we go. So that's going to give that uh, power no problem. Okay, so let's see. Automatically extracting from here, putting into there. Uh, that's going to, once this is uh, turned on, this is going to say, hey, uh, you need to click in here and see what's going on. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And that's going to start putting stuff in there if it can. So apparently this bag right here um, is not good for us. So what we need to do now is we need to hook that up. And so that should remove the bag and put a new bag in there. Okay. So obviously this is not activating that then, or it's just not making it enough signal for it to work. All right, let's remove that. Why is that not working? How would one give signal to this cable then? Active with redstone signal. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Maybe it's just not getting enough signal. Five seconds. I'm not waiting for it to click. Try it again here. Uh, looks like we got some EMC that time. And then click, new bag, new bag, new bag. It's going to keep doing this uh, until it can get in either to a rhythm with the bags or uh, we'll get something that we can actually use. So how many is in here? Three. So it's doing it a little bit at a time. We could probably even speed that up a little bit. But for the most part, I think we got this thing running. Now, uh, let's do a, a, a security test here. Or not a security test, but a, uh, a, an, an e-check, uh, so to say. And we were looking for EMC. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. So that's working really well. Uh, it's going through all the bags and putting all the stuff that we'll never use into there. All the stuff that's making EMC is going into here. And um, speed that up just a little bit. I don't know how fast this thing works is the problem. Was it like every tick or something? Yeah, that thing runs like four times per tick or something like that. Hell, we could even do it faster. Do three ticks. It really doesn't like to have EMC in those bags, does it? We really haven't gotten much. Huh. Okay, well, it's getting there. It's getting there. I'm going to keep putting everything into this chest right here and testing it. That way I know for a fact it's working, but I think we're good to go. All right, guys, I am back. I have tested every single bag that has ran through here. 
Not a single one of these hold EMC items, so this means that this thing is actually running pretty efficient. I've actually got the clock set on 1.5 in interval, and as you can see, we've already made one dark matter, so we are doing pretty good, I think. Um, I'm going to continue to just kind of monitor uh, these bags just to make sure, because, you know, we are uh, clicking pretty fast, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to let, like... Let me get, like, a couple more in here real fast. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's try these four. And so it's been quite a while for it to be clicking at that speed. And I mean, ooh, portal gun. We've got, like, 87 portal guns. So I think we're pretty much good to go uh, as far as this machine being efficient. Uh, I don't know how efficient it is. So far, I've only seen 100%. So I'm just going to let this run. Eventually, it's just going to run through all of these bags. And especially when it gets to these ones, uh, we're going to start seeing a lot more EMC come through the machine. All right, guys. So uh, I crafted a quarry. Not easy, by the way. Not, not a lot of this stuff has EMC. Uh, also got a, the machine over here so we can work on that. But right now, we need Sky Stone. And if I remember correctly, the Sky Stone is made by putting this stuff into lava. Uh, are we on to the other ones yet? Oh, we're on to the good books now. That's exciting. Dude, look how fast the thing is going. That's awesome. No wonder we have 11 EMC so far, or 11 of these. 1.5 million EMC. Okay, let's put that in there. And so I need lava. Grab a bunch of those. Now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. That's Sky Stone. I need a couple of those. I don't know how many. Probably two. So, mining. We need to make this mining multi-tool. Done. And then there is, I think, a, what was it? Mining stone, maybe? Uh, there's a mining over or a mining world that we need to go to. And there is a certain way you have to craft the blocks. I guess, um... RF tools and I still don't see it I don't think it's under, what's it called I guess it would just be called mining uh, I guess we could just do uses hold on uses uh, portal frame portal frame and it's a stone brick okay put that up there portal and we need 14 of these there we go and I need a chunk loader okay wow I'm missing obsidian do I not have any obsidian? I really don't. <laughs> That's not good. Um, you? Uh, I don't know where I just put that string at. There we go. All right. Uh, water. There we go. Make sure we learn that. Obsidian. There we go. And diamond. All this work for a chunk loader. Make sure we learn that really quickly. There we go. Chunk loader. The good thing about this mining world is for one, it's super flat. And two, there are no mobs. There we go. Awesome. All right. So just put that right there for now. Um, okay. So I think we have everything we need. Let me grab a pickaxe and get rid of these buckets of water and stuff. There we go. And I just need a pickaxe. You. All right. Let's go set this mining uh, quarry up. Whoa. Chill out there, homie. All right. Put it over here next to this portal. All righty then. 
You good, sir. You. There we go. And we need that mining tool. Crap. <laughs> I forgot to grab it. That's my fault. Let's try it again here. Mining. There we go. And all right, we should have everything we need. We've got all the markers. We've got an ender chest. Everything should be good to go. Now. Activate that. Go into the world. Shift. Hopefully it puts us at the surface. Downloading terrain. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello. There we go. Right on a quarry. Uh, my portal is missing. Yeah. Um, okay. Hold on. Vein. Miner. Where the hell is my portal? <laughs> my portal is not here. You have to have a portal to get back, and I don't see one. Uh, that could be a problem. Hold on. I need to get some food real fast. That, uh... <laughs> that, that could be a pretty big problem. Could be an issue. I see that that being a problem. I mean, I'm not not seeing anything. Do you guys see it anywhere? I do not see our portal. Um and it's not there. It's not in the sky. I I mean, I don't really have any other option, do I? Um the only other thing I could think to do would be to... Hold on, let me delete this. Delete that, and then grab some of this. I would need to... 70% of the tools are already used. Okay, well, I wouldn't even be able to craft another one, but I need to make another portal. That's what I'll have to do. So I'm going to have to give myself the blocks. In the meantime, I'm going to get the quarry set up. That was unfortunate. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot done we got everything caught up. We got our machine made. This thing has actually been running decently well. Um, we might be out of loot bags, though. Eh, we're getting pretty close to running out of loot bags. Um, we got our quarry running. I also made a ton more drives, right? Because, like, we needed it. Let me grab that. And I was thinking about ways to get EMC. That we could, you know, have a solid, steady source of EMC that would also help us. And I think I want to do something like this. A stabilized spawner. Um, uh, let me see. Let me just type in spawner. We won't be able to do it today because the video is coming to an end. But if we can get a mob spawner, we can do this draconium. And we can make like a wither skeleton spawner and use the wither skeleton drops for EMC. Uh, we could use the bone uh, and the coal. So that could work. That might be something we do in the future. But uh, things are definitely progressing pretty good. We are, um, yeah, as you can see, we're getting EMC pretty good. Still need to make a better set of tools and armor, which we might be doing for red matter. Also want to upgrade this guy to a MK2 soon. This is an MK1. So lots of stuff to do soon. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as always. Hope you all have a fantastic day and thank you all for watching. This is iGevin. Peace out, guys.